everyone's ready for me filming off my laptop screen and talking at 3 a.m. and uh, being completely and utterly unintelligible. So this is my first first step. This is my first like test render block out. It's like the original drawing. I this is in like meadow or like a meadow from Unreal. Uh, I've got some already. These are my classic. I just put them in everything. Background stuff. We've got the sort of screens are blocked out. Um, I've imported a bunch of assets into Unreal. I've done some tweaking to the engine, which I might show you. Uh, and this is the original proof of concept. It kind of works, you know. <laughs> slightly shocking to be the level of unprofessionalism I'm going to be demonstrating in this video. So, <laughs> this is, uh, and it's like, maybe it would have been cool to see a time lapse of all this stuff, but also, you know, who, who actually cares? The, this is that same environment, the actual map was dark forest, uh, and I've replaced those rectangles with some slightly more detailed rectangles, put them in as foliage, stuck some cleaned out the sort of floor, um, the brush on the floor because it was uh, like a bit too organic and I wanted it to be more run down and now I've set up, um, it's one of these sort of while you're, while you're making it, I wanted to put something else in it, I, I didn't quite figure out what it was but I think some NFT deers as well might be quite cool. So this is like the new idea like it's a forest and what do you do in a forest, you hunt so there's going to be uh, a, you know, a deer, a deer murder going on. So I'm thinking the deer is going to be like made out of video in some capacity. It's going to be very digital, the deer. But um, I guess some some stuff about my setup here is uh, I've I've locked the I'm on a laptop, so I've locked the preview window to 15 FPS. Uh, I'm on a 4K laptop, but I'm running it at 1080p right now, uh, and I can drop the screen percentage here if I need even better performance. Uh, I think I probably don't have anti eight. well, I have anti-aliasing on here, but um, it's all about um, sort of keeping my laptop cool while I'm, while I'm working on it, and then I can turbo it when I actually actually need it. So at the moment, it's not, it's not perfect, but it's, it's a pretty good striking image. It's almost, um, well, I say it's almost, but it's like now we just need to see if Matty's going to be doing the, the video content for these screens and probably for the deer and maybe some overlays. So now it's like if we have something interesting on the screens we might want to show, then we might change the positioning of the screens. Also, all these screens are going to have to be remade because um, that will... I guess they don't technically have to be remade, but I mean, they really should, and a few different variants as well make it look a bit cooler. But um, if there's something cool on the screens, like if these trees are NFTs or something, you know, it might zoom up and focus on a focus on a tree or tree or something. Uh, something that's, as you can see on my timeline here, while, while I'm working, I've got it to key all changes, so I get a very sloppy, um, not very sloppy, but I get like, unintended um, entries into my uh, timeline which um, which in some regards is very fucking annoying and in others it isn't too bad because it gives me um, a sort of slightly more compressed janky camera that moves a more um, the sort of you know quicker and more compressed and sort of less keyframe they become a bit more erratic which is quite hard to get without um you know intentionally so it's not all bad um so yeah that's this level as you can see 
and also there's some sort of pop in with these these branches but also it's like i think i don't know i think it's just the level of detail on these branches or something but it's fucking brutal so i need to figure out what that is um but yeah that's that's the basic overlay of what we got and as you sort of kind of imagine this is going to break out to a nice little nice little nft and there's going to be you know it's it's gone from a short idea of some trees being digital uh, and nfts to um a slightly more also now i need to replace this guy with um i have some animations from as well but i'm probably i'm gonna have to replace him with um a guy in a suit or something you know some sort of survivor type type character or maybe he's a robot i'm not too sure but i think he's probably a human and the deer is like a um you know the deer's got like a video running over its skin or something you can also see my very quick and dirty deer animations playing for my deer walking so there we go that's that's where we're at Okay, uh, because of the way I've got this set up, I can't render it out, so. It's very reflective. I've still got lots of fog and details and stuff to add. The tree corp thing looks very, very good. And the generic tree sitting there are pretty good. Dude, it's killing my laptop. <laughs> so my current feeling is we have some sort of intro here, very, very short, basically just one frame that like transitions so it loops around perfectly with the end stuff. So it'll go from just the intro looping. Um, and I put some, I've updated the sound and stuff a little bit. We, I think the only screen we need is one glitched screen. A broken screen would be good. I think apart from that, it's absolutely perfect. Here, I don't know if we have something. Yeah, it's a world piece. I don't know if you have something that already is like there to replace it or you can just i think you can just reuse some of you know not in a negative way but i think you can reuse some of the um tree world graphics here you know um the missing you know missing texture tree this sort of negative stuff flashing looks pretty good so some
Thank mm-hmm. you.